Peace, y'all. Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is Ayoka. For all of you who are new to my channel, thank you so much for stopping by. And to my OGs, what's good? Hey, y'all. So y'all already know what's up. This is going to be an energy update for today. I am recording from TikTok and YouTube, y'all. So if y'all see me looking back and forth, that's why, okay? But however, I need you guys to um, make sure you're using the spirit of discernment as you're viewing this video. Don't force nothing to fit. Take only what you need. Y'all know how YouTube tarot works, right? It's collective, okay? TikTok as well. It's collective readings. I'm pulling into everyone's energy and I may not always get yours. It may not be happening for you now, but it's not to say that it may not happen, right? Um, I do pick up again past, present, future energy. So we are all on different timelines. But um, however, um, I don't know if you're masculine or feminine. I'm just going to speak this story, okay? Now, TikTok family, I'm going to record to about 10 minutes, maybe a little less. Um, this video will definitely probably extend past that. So go over to my YouTube. The link is in my bio, y'all. So you're going to check out the rest over on my YouTube. Subscribe while you at it, okay? And my YouTube fam, you already know what's up. I thank you for hitting the like button. I thank you for hitting the subscribe button. And I thank you for hitting the thanks button if you are feeling generous. And for everybody who's already donated to my channel, bless you. Thank you so much. All right, so I got three cards that came out. Financial constraint is one of them. The sixth chakra. And the door to value came in the reverse. Okay, so I'm hearing you got to get clear. You have to get clear on your own personal vision. All right, what is it that you want for yourself? I know it may feel like the door is shut. I know it may feel like things are delayed, especially when it comes to the things that you value the most. And I'm definitely feeling like you feel restricted in some kind of way, okay? So whatever this may be, it could be about money, right? It doesn't have to be. I'm sorry, y'all. It's like my nail actually really broke in the position it broke in. It's kind of bothersome. But however, yeah, it could be in anything that you value, okay? Now tell me about the financial constraint card. So the Ten of Wands comes out in the reverse. So what it feels like is it's, it's a lot of burden that you may have, right? It's like insurmountable problems, basically, okay? Um, you could be overburdened or overloaded with certain things here going on in your life, whether it's responsibilities, it could be stress, shit, right? And for the most part here, it's like when it comes to what you envision for yourself, it's like you like, look, this ain't what I envision for myself, okay? So I definitely feel that energy. So show me what I need to see here. It's like whatever it is, it's, you got a lot on your plate is what I'm seeing. And it's a heavy weight on your shoulder. Tell me about the sixth chakra. So that's what's making you feel restricted, okay? Because you may can't move how you want to move. Yeah, page of swords comes out reverse position next to the knight of swords in the reverse position. Okay, so you can't move how you want to move, all right? And you may be feeling like you're missing certain opportunities here because you are, I feel like you got all these ideas. There's a lot of stuff that you want to communicate, most definitely. It's a lot of ideas that you have that you want to bring forth. And it's a lot of delays. Again, stuff is delaying you from being able to move forward. It's like you're on this mission and you're looking for big changes. You're looking for these opportunities to come in for you. But again, it's like you feel like things are out of your control or out of your depth. Okay. And it makes you feel trapped, right? This hangman energy comes out. It makes you feel restricted. But guess what? The hangman is all about perspectives. Okay. So take that time and just pause for a second, right? So that you can gain a different perspective. You know, feeling like you're stuck is an illusion. Okay? It, it really is. It means that you may need to just stop for a minute and figure out what you need to do next. Okay? Um, and even with the King of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles, Knight of Cups and the Queen of Pentacles in the reverse. you Whatever it is. If this is about you and somebody else that's making you feel, like, restricted or... Or what? Because it, it, the, the Knight of Cups is literally connected to love. And it's like this one of these situations where it's an unrequited love situation between a Knight of Cups reverse and a Queen of Pentacles reverse. Okay, so 
I don't know. You know, either you feel insecure. I don't know if you're the Queen of Pentacles reverse or the Knight. Or this could be your person and a karmic person, right? I could be picking up on anybody's energy that's surrounding you. Okay, but what I'm feeling like here with this Queen of Pentacles reverse person, this is usually someone who can be very insecure. They're usually self-absorbed. Or it could mean like, hey, you need to make self-love your priority because some shit is wrong. <laughs> okay, it's just all fucked up, right? Not coming from nobody because we've all been there. You know, sometimes even in your now, you may still feel insecure about certain things, right? But however, it's definitely a situation here that is not feeling too prosperous, not feeling too abundant, okay? Now, tell me what's going on between these two, this Knight of Cups and this Queen. All right, now, so I got an Eight of Wands in a reverse position. So there's some misunderstandings between these two, okay? Somebody may be going somewhere. Somebody may be traveling somewhere. Um, and it's just bad timing. It's like it feels like somebody may be going somewhere. And I feel like it's this Queen of Pentacles reverse could, maybe tra could be traveling somewhere or going somewhere whatever it is it's just like it's bad timing <laughs> you know you know how it's like if you're trying to do some things and you're trying to progress and you're working on some things and then bam somebody gotta do something and it's like the wrong time or they're asking you to do something and it's like shit this is the wrong time and you feel restricted or this person feels restricted because it's a extra responsibility on them that they really don't want to have but you know how you gotta have it that's the feeling i'm having and with this deck on um seven of wands energy it's like they can't stand their ground right because they gotta do it it's a burnt it's a responsibility that they have to do it's like this knight of cups it's like they have to do this right and they can't really fight for this they can't even you know, get on a defense because this is something that they have to do. And I feel like, you know, this person or you may be very clear about what your vision is, but you can't really fully embrace it because of the responsibilities, because of the stress, because of the burden. And then it's like you're connected to someone that's in the reverse position or they are, you know, that's, you know, it's a lot of energy that comes with the queen of pentacles reverse. Okay. Um, Wow. Tell me about the door to value in the reverse. I feel like I kind of like pulled it all out to the nitty gritty. Yeah. Mm. Then there's an empress. <laughs> That's what I said. It's like third party type energy going on. Okay. So we got a reverse queen of pentacles and an empress. And then I got the temperance energy coming through. So here with my empress, here with the temperance, and here with the page of pentacles reversed. And what I feel like here is that um, somebody also could be pregnant. Okay, this, yeah, somebody could be pregnant. Wow, somebody could be a divine feminine energy, which basically would be a, a, a twin flame dynamic. Is what I'm also seeing or mother figure or something here and what I see is that with that temperance energy it's requiring a lot of patience right and whoever this is it feels like that whoever is playing the masculine role has to do things in moderation with this empress they can't really kind of you know be all in it brings an imbalance and it's like when it comes to what they're trying to manifest especially when it comes to their earthly matters, you know, what they envision for themselves, there's always some type of problem where they can't get to that point, okay? Um, and then, you know, the Empress, of course, is like very nurturing, very abundant, far from the insecure energy and things like that. And it feels as though, you know, they can't, they got the Empress on one side and then the Queen of Pentacles on the other side. And the Queen of Pentacles reverse is someone that doesn't really appreciate them. Kind of like that selfish energy, right? So what's really taking place then? And what I just heard is like, they're looking to have some type of calm. They're just ready to be able to move forward to go towards their 
Ooh, vision. They're ready to offer. This Knight of Cups is ready to offer some type of proposal or invitation or want to date somebody or follow their heart or something, and they just can't do it. They just can't do it, right? Because they are feeling restricted. They're back into some type of corner, and they can't go forward because they got these responsibilities. Yep. Ace of Pentacles reverse and the Five of Wands reverse. It's like they can't literally offer anything abundant because they have to compromise they have to you understand reach some type of agreement here with the other person in order for them to be able to work well with them too as well and of course like i said it's like whatever the burdens are that is it's restrictive let's just put it that way I'm going to see if this card, this deck will be able to give me some info. What's the burden to you? ring comes out so like i said somebody wants to make an offer somebody wants to be able to either propose to someone or commit or something right so this card basically says yeah it's it's um a positive outcome to a proposal or agreement or contract or promise or commitment, right? Or union. Um, it can be anything, marriage, things like that. So I'm a pull. Tell me about the ring. Mm-hmm. The world card comes out. This is something here that someone wants to achieve. It's a goal. Okay, somebody, this is somebody's goal, like to have, to be married, to be engaged or to be in a long-term relationship. Okay, and mm, yeah, and they're not really being able to do it. It's a lot of stagnation because of their burdens. Cycles aren't really completed and closed out fully here. Yeah, they got to. With that seven of wands energy coming out again in the reverse. It's like almost like they got to give up or they may feel defeated, right? Because they can't even really stand up for what they really believe in with this other situation. Yeah, emperor comes in because they're a father. Okay, that could be one, you know, they may have children with someone else. And that could be this queen of pentacles because they got responsibilities, you know, <laughs> things like that is what I'm feeling heavily. And it's like, and they have to, in order for them to be able to, how can I say it? It requires a lot of discipline and a lot of structure. And this is, seems like what this masculine energy is trying to do. It's like they're trying to become structured, basically. It's like once they realize that they really have their own authority, they have their own will and power to create their life the way that they want it to be, then they can move forward. And it's like it's, they still feel defeated. They still feel powerless when it comes to this, when it comes to standing up for themselves, for the, it comes to them speaking their truth. And I feel like I don't even know if it's necessarily speaking the truth. It's just really more about, you know, taking action, right? But I feel like they feel like they can't because they have these responsibilities. It's like I have to take care of my responsibilities. There's only but so much that I can do because this is something I created, right? Definitely that energy is what I'm feeling. Wow, show me what I need to see. Yeah, they're juggling. Two of Pentacles comes out. Page of Wands here. Then I got the Strength card here in the reverse. So it's just like, hey, I want to start something new. I'm enthusiastic about this. But damn it, I'm trying to play this balance in that. How can I do that? How can I do that? Like, I'm juggling. I'm juggling life. I'm juggling money. I'm, I'm juggling, you know, um, 
I ain't want to say relationships, but for some relationships, right? People, children, whatever, myself. It's a lot of stress. It's a lot. And it's like they, they are trying to be adaptable and flexible. But again, you only got two hands, right? Something's going to catch the shit in on the stick, right? It's going to be an imbalance because you can't be everything to everyone, okay? So... Mm. So the energy is gaining momentum. It's like even if you or this person don't feel it, it's actually happening. It's like, yeah, personal issue reaches resolution. It's like spirit is literally working behind the scenes. Your angelic guides and everybody just all look the whole spirit realm like shoo, orchestrating to try to get things moving here for y'all. Okay, so let me see what the waxing moon says. During the waxing moon cycle, hope springs eternal. The card is a very positive omen, indicating that you can create the reality you're dreaming of. Didn't I just say that? Wow. Though it will take some work and you're not quite there yet, this is a time of energies rising up. Emotions are building too. Where do you want to go and do you believe you can get there? Either you can just keep meditating and focusing on your desired outcome or you can make the courageous commitment to take more practical steps towards your goals. Whichever you decide, you are most certainly on the right track. Just know that you're headed in the right direction. Your situation is full of potential. Your dreams can come true, but more effort is required. Are you willing to give it? But keep moving forward. So now is the time to make plans and to act on them. And that's what it is. It's like this person wants to act on them, but... They really feel like they can't at this moment because they have too much responsibilities behind it, right? And it's now time for them just to really believe in and what they are envisioning for themselves, okay? And it's, it's going to reach a resolution. It's definitely going to be an emotional situation, uh, whichever dynamic, right? It could be explosive, like argumentative. It could be emotional as far as like one of those situations where you just like overly emotional you can't stop crying <laughs> 74 but um things are likely to get very heated it's a you know full moon in cancer is a super emotional sign so there could be something of an explosion of feelings around now or surrounding your question it's important to be sensitive to other people when you pull this card there are some very fine sensibilities around, so tread carefully as you move towards your goals or dreams. This card indicates an especially feminine time. It also heralds the time to deal with any family issues coming up, but nothing to worry about. It signals a challenge is now coming to an end. This card also suggests both that a domestic matter or private issue will soon come to a head and that it's, great, it's a great time to move house. The answer to your question lies in being a kind leader. This is the time for you to step up and agree to overcome your insecurities. It may be best to move towards what you want in a sideways manner, but meditate to soothe heightened emotions. Don't be clingy, don't be sulking, and just spend more time with your family, right? Because that always raises your vibration. But don't worry, all will soon be well, okay? Everything will be well soon. So just breathe, all right? <laughs> breathe i know you like you can say that you ain't going through it i know <laughs> but i know some people that could be going through it right you know because even if this ain't your energy again it's somebody that is connected to you okay but all you have to do right is stay focused on what your dreams are and what you're actually believing in and don't worry spirit is backing you all right, y'all. So have a wonderful rest of the day. I am getting ready to jump into some other readings. I feel like I'm done. Oh, no, I'm not. I feel like, I feel like I'm done my personal readings for the day, but I'm not. I think a few just came through. So I'm going to be kind of like back and forth. So thank you guys again for all of your support. 
um, I do have um, memberships as well for my channel so when you see that join now button click on that just to see what the perks are it won't hurt you ain't gonna be buying nothing right now but at least you get to see what I have going on within the community okay um, and I love you guys peace